Okay, so I peeled the boxing wax off before the stone got too hot. If you can catch it before the stone gets really hot and melts that wax, it peels right off easy. Then we've got to pry this off of here, okay, gently. Might have to go a little here, a little there, especially on your type of which has big gingival embrasures. We should be able to take that out of there. And we've got our cast bubble free. Okay, so now I need to trim it. I'm gonna trim around it. I'm gonna flatten out the base a little bit. I want the base to be between 10 and 12 millimeters measured from the margin to the base of the cast. Okay, before I trim it with a wet trimmer, I need to, I wanna wet the cast so that the model trimmer sludge doesn't go into the sulcus and stick in there. So I always wet it first, unless we use the, mo the dry model trimmer that we have up here. Set it on the table. Okay, don't try and grind it up here where you're trying to hold it, set it on the table. Push evenly on both sides. And I want the base of the cast to be parallel to the occlusal surface. And we have to grind so that the base is perfectly flat. Trim into your teeth. Base, base is flat. It's not. Take it down until it is, until you can see the striations of the model trimmer. Rinse it off again. And we're done. We're ready to uh, we'll pin it next. Go. You need to take this center out right here. Be careful you don't pinch it back here. Got a, we need to have a removable die here, so I'm gonna to have to have a pin here. A removable proximal contact here. And I need some pins to hold this last section together so it's all removable. So I'm gonna put one right here in the middle of my die between the buckle and lingual margins, not in the middle of the occlusal surface. Think about the margins, okay. Same thing here, between the middle of the tooth, which is from out here to here. And then I'm gonna put one here, here, and here. My saw cuts are gonna be there and there. Okay, so this is the Pindex. I'm gonna be sure that the drill isn't broken off. The table's gonna push down. I'm gonna hold the model down tight and push down until the light goes off. That's it. We should be able to see a larger short hole, about a millimeter, and then the uh, smaller diameter hole that goes down into the cast.